Tonight on Gamehead, I'm here in Boston at Lincoln Park's Project Revolution Tour. And behind me is the Halo 3 VIP Experience Tent, where 50 lucky fans get to go hands-on with the final multiplayer version of the game. We'll get their reactions to Halo, plus we'll hang out with the band. Lincoln Park, Taking Back Sunday, and Julian K giving us their thoughts on having their music in games, and also whether we'll maybe hear some of their tracks in Guitar Hero 3 or Rock Band. All that plus the latest video game news, reviews, and previews right here on Gamehead. Tonight on Gamehead, we world premiere a brand new weapon in Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. We review Stuntman, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and Deadhead Fred. And we preview Little Big Planet. Plus, Game Trailers is on location at the World Cyber Games Pan Championships and downloads a little number called Rock Band. Hey everybody, welcome back to Gamehead from Project Revolution Tour in Boston. Now joined by the guys from Julian K. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, so you're, we're in the Halo tent here with all the uh, the Halo stuff behind us. You guys are checking out a bit. Uh, what do you think? Hi. So far it looks amazing. I mean, it looks like the graphics are completely, you know, to me it looks like it's a whole different engine. I mean, right. there's a huge amount of detail. The physics are really cool, right. and I'm making myself look like a total geek. We're in the Halo 3 VIP experience. Do you feel like a VIP here? I do. We're surrounded by like lots and lots of guns going off. There's been a lot of competition. We've formed a team and uh, actually tried to compete against the another tour, tried right. to compete against Warp Tour, um, and I represent my band on, on the Project Revolution team, and I kind of suck. I heard a rumor that you were uh, asking to bring a Master Chief on stage I with you, and you were denied. Rumor. I would love to bring a Master Chief, just put him in a little headlock, give him a noogie, take his arms off, they, uh, they wouldn't go for it. So I don't see a Master Chief on stage. I'd put it out there, and nobody's come back to me yet. It's 1940 in the town of Hope Falls, and private investigator Fred Newman has lost his head, literally, in Deadhead Fred for the PSP. A mob boss whacks him, takes his head as a trophy, and now a friendly scientist comes to the rescue. Fred's brought back to life with a test tube enclosed brain, and throughout this handheld title, you swap on eight other heads, like the stone head, which rams objects, and the shrunken head, which shrinks Fred down to rat size, to fight back against other Frankenstein-like creatures. Creations. The head games are used both for combat and puzzle solving. While the gameplay gets kind of repetitive and there are lots of camera problems, I like the story and the voiceovers led by Scrub star John C. McGinley as Fred. And hey, at least this is an original PSP game. Overall, Deadhead Fred has got some brains. He gets a game head score of 7 out of 10. Are you going to do your Julian K game though? <laughs> what would that game be? I'd shoot lightning out of my hands and, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, stop crime. You know, some, <laughs> something ridiculous. What do you think the game would be? Look at what uh, past mistakes like the Aerosmith game and go, let's not do that. Right, exactly. Let's not do this one. Let's not do the journey game. Right. Let's not do that. Someone started making a fighting game with us. Oh, they already did. Yeah, they gave us sketches of the characters and everything. Right. Uh, my, my, what was your special move? Vomiting. <laughs> Do the pyro, hit your mark, and make sure you're paid up on insurance in THQ's Stuntman Ignition. Back in 2002, the original Stuntman was a frustrating game with little room for error. Thankfully, the sequel, which has you driving motorcycles and cars during epic action sequences, is much more forgiving. You start on the set of Aftershock, a volcano disaster flick that reminds me of the summer of 97 when Dante's Peak faced off against Volcano. With lava flowing, visual cues on the course tell you when to jump and power slide. Five misses and it's time to try again. All told, there are six different movie sets, including Whooping and Hollering 2, set in Louisiana. Stuntman's really a game about memorization. The sequences never change. In a way, you have to memorize because the on-screen prompts don't give you a lot of warning. So the game is a bit linear, but it still swerves to a game head score of 7.5 out of 10. Next on Game Head, Matt from Taking Back Sunday remembers he left God of War 2 paused at home. We preview Little Big Planet, and still to come, we world premiere a brand new weapon in Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Here's a game head fact. The top four selling video game hardware platforms for the month of July are Nintendo Wii, Nintendo DS, the PS2, and the PSP. These figures prove that some Americans just aren't ready or wealthy enough to make the step into the next gen. Will the new price cuts affect the August totals? We'll just have to wait and see.